All right, today in science, we're gonna keep talking about insects. So yesterday, I read a little bit of a book to you to kind of introduce insects to you. And so today, I'm gonna use my science book to kind of teach you a little bit about insects, and then we're gonna complete um, pages 53 and 54 in your science book together, okay? All right, so um, common features of insects uh, include three body sections, which we learned about yesterday. It is the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Okay, and we're gonna locate those on our workbook pages today. And insects have an outer skeleton called an exoskeleton. So for you and I, our skeleton is inside our arm, like our bones are inside, our skeleton is inside. An insect has its skeleton on the outside and it's called an exoskeleton. And it has six legs attached to the thorax. So the thorax is like the middle part of the insect and insects have six legs. Insects are cold-blooded, and we talked about that yesterday, about how that means that they cannot regulate their body temperature. So if they go out and it's very cold, then they become very cold. If it's very hot, they become very hot. We are the opposite. We are warm-blooded. So our blood stays the same no matter what we go. Now, we can, we can feel cold, but our body temperature stays around 98 degrees no matter what the weather is, okay? And insects determine on external sources like the sun um, to heat and warm and keep their body temperature maintained, okay? All right, insects are classified as being within the animal kingdom, and as such, they need food, water, air, and shelter as other animals do. So those are the four things that they need to survive. And they are classified even further. So we have like the animal kingdom and then we have insects and then we have another group called the arthropods. Can you say arthropods? Yeah, it's a big like science word. That means joined feet, okay? And that is um, an, a characteristic such as jointed appendixes, um, appendages um, on their exoskeleton. So like they're, they're um, like, um, arms and legs are joined, okay? Jointed. Um, a common misconception, that means something that we think that is not really true, is people think that spiders and other arachnids are insects, and they are not, okay? When we observe spiders and scorpions and lobsters and ticks, it's easy to see that their legs and antenna are jointed. Um, so spiders are actually arachnids, not arthropods. So you might have learned something new today. Spiders are in their own class, separate from insects. And spiders have two body sections and they have eight legs. So those are a couple differences between spiders and insects. Okay, another thing is that we often call insects bugs. So we look around and we're like, oh, there were bugs all over the place. Well, insects are not all bugs. Bugs is a specific type of insect. So if we have insects up here, a type of insect would be a bug, just like a type of insect would be an ant. So we can't call all insects bugs. They're all insects, but just a certain amount of them are actually bugs, okay? All right, so let's look at our page together, page 53. All right, on page 53 at the top, it says an insect, which is the bold yellow word, is an animal that has three main body parts and six legs. So observe these insects. So on that little piece of leaf, we have a ladybug beetle, and we have a moth, and we have a dragonfly. All of those are insects, and they have three main body parts. They are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And you have a picture of an ant in your book, and it's labeled. You see the ant's head, you see its thorax, and you see its abdomen. Now the question there says, how many legs does this ant have? So we need to fill in that blank. How many legs does an ant have? It has six, that's right, it has six legs. In order to be an insect, it has to have six legs. So you're gonna write the word six, S-I-X, on the line, okay? All right, let's look at page 54 in your book. So let's flip the page. All right, first it says to label the damselfly. How many of you have ever heard of a damselfly? I've never heard of that until in this book. But there is a picture of one, and it wants us to label the damselflies head, thorax, and abdomen. Okay, so I want you on those blanks to fill in which part is the head and write the word head, which part is the thorax. The thorax is the middle of the insect. And then the abdomen is gonna be um, like the end part. Okay, so go ahead and label those three parts. If you need to pause it for a minute, you can do that while you label. 
All right, if we keep going, it says, is a spider an insect? Observe the spider and write yes or no. So, does the spider have six legs? No, how many legs does a spider have? Eight, a spider has eight legs. An insect has to have six. So a spider does not have six legs. So you need to write N-O on the line. All right, the second question says, is a spider an insect? The answer would be no, a spider is not an insect. It's its own class. Does anybody remember what that big word is for spiders? Arachnids, that's right, a spider is an arachnid. All right, use the word blank to fill in the blanks. The word bank to fill in the blanks. I don't know what I said there. All right, number one, how many main body parts does an insect have? It's either gonna be six or three. How many of you think it's six? How many of you think it's three? The answer is three. Can anybody tell me what the three main body parts are? It's the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So you need to write the number three for number one. Okay, and number two, how many legs does an insect have? That's right, it has six, S-I-X, six parts, or legs. All right, so that is all we are gonna do in science today. Today we have learned that an insect has three main body parts and six legs, and we've looked at a couple of insects. So if I would tell you to tell me an insect, you could either tell me a ladybug beetle, a moth, a dragonfly, an ant, a damselfly. You've learned five insects just today, okay? So if I would give you a little quiz like, okay, show me on your fingers this. Okay, here's a little quiz for you. You have to do it at your computer. All right, here we go. How many body parts or parts, yeah, main body parts, does an insect have? Three, that's right, good job, you're so smart. Okay, let's look at legs. How many legs, show me with your fingers, does an insect have? Six, give yourself a high five. That is right, six legs. All right, thumbs up or thumbs down. A spider is an insect. Thumbs down. A spider is, you remember the big word? An arachnid. All right, boys and girls, tomorrow we are going to learn more about some other parts of an insect. So I look forward to teaching you a little bit more tomorrow about insects. 